Hey there everyone, Alexander Frost here, and uh, well, like I said, today Friday is going to be kind of a wild day, I wasn't sure what I was going to play or what I was going to show you, and I decided I'm not going to play a game today. Instead, I'm going to show you this. This is from a previous uh, playthrough of uh, Mobile Suit Gundam, Gundam vs. Zeta Gundam, of course, and uh, this is actually one of my better playthroughs. I actually made it to an EX stage. I don't remember if I was able to show that to you previously. This was a few years ago. I think this was made before I even started opening or during, I'm not sure. Anyways, I meant to explain yesterday in my Valkyria Chronicles video uh, what's been going on. I should say why. Uh, well, this has been kind of an odd loop. First of all, Magoichi's storyline, uh, as you saw, is a short one. And then uh, I finished up the duel in the desert, in the Barrier Desert. And, uh, well, next week's going to be interesting. You see, I'm going to a convention next week, Friday. I'm actually going to be driving. So I'm not going to be able to come home and record. Usually, when I do videos, I record, edit, and upload all in the same day. So when you see a video, I recorded it a few hours prior, with the rare exception which I might record a couple days worth or something and then stock it up for later. But um, next week is going to be an issue because I'm not going to be able to do that since I'm going to be gone on Friday. So, and usually it takes exactly five days to do a session of uh, Samurai Warriors. So what I decided I'm going to do this week is that, um, or I should say next week, I'm actually going to get around to recording Mr. Metal Slug 6 return. like I said I would. Here's the problem. All the Metal Slug games I've recorded so far I do own because I have the Metal Slug Anthology Collection, which has all the Metal Slug games up to 6, uh, not including any of the 3D versions. Oh god, no, not the 3D versions. Anyways, uh... The ones you've seen me play have all been emulated versions. Durr, of course. Metal Slug 6 was never released as an emulated game. It was strictly an arcade game only in Japan. And as far as I know, there are no working... Uh, no working emulators. And even if there were, I wouldn't play them. I would much rather play the version I have. So I have the Metal Slug Anthology. Which, it has the game and I can play it. The big problem being that, unlike an emulator, I can't make save states. So I pretty much have to sit down and play all of Metal Slug 6 in one go. Let's go. Which is already going to be kind of tough since Metal Slug 6 is, well, rather difficult game. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to pretty much just uh, play on Monday. Heck, I might even just record stuff on Sunday. I don't know, I might record stuff over the weekend. And then start uploading day to day on Monday, and then uh, Thursday I'll just upload any of the remaining episodes. Hopefully there shouldn't be too many. It'll probably take me only four days. It'll probably only be a four day thing. I mean, Metal Slug 6 is not overly long. I mean, it's, I don't know, I'd say it's about as long as three. Maybe a bit shorter. It's definitely shorter than three, but longer than four or five. I think it's about as long as 5. But its final stage is much like um, the final stage of Metal Slug 3 in that it just keeps on going. <sighs> so yeah. That's kind of why this week's been a little bit unusual and strange. So. <laughs> and in case you haven't noticed yet, uh, yes, this is a uh, VHS recording. I don't... At the time that I previously made this recording, the VHS was the only method of recording I had available at my disposal, thanks to the, uh, the bars at the bottom, and uh, this VCR is very old, easily 10 years plus. I mean, it was the family VCR before it found its way into my hands. I will hide, though. I'm doing alright. So, um, and I mean, I can use tracking to bring the bars down, but if I do... They just wrap, might be helpful to hit the tracking button. They just wrap right around to the top, so it's actually better to keep it more towards the bottom because, I mean, what? The only information down there is information on the lower left that tells me if I've hit a target, 
boost, which only appears if I boost, and I can clearly see the blue bar even through the fuzz, and sub-weapon ammunition, which doesn't even matter, because hey, who uses Vulcans anyway? Ow, I had to hurt. So this is going to be kind of a, you know, just a rant. Play, not so much, so much a rant, just a, just a play and watch and comment. And... This won't take half an hour, like, uh... At least I think it will. Anyways, as far as this run goes, um... Mission over. Come back. I chose to use the gym and the Nemo. The gym for ground combat and the Nemo for space-based combat. Um, partly because it changes how I play the game whenever I'm actually in combat. You see, if I'm trying to go for an EX stage, it's actually better for me to play as a mass production suit that's weaker than a high value suit. Yeah, turn the brightness just a bit. There we go. The idea being that if you're using a low key suit, a low power, easily destroyed suit, you'll fight more defensively. You'll be careful. You won't taste take the same risks you would with, say, the Gundam. Plus, if this particular mobile suit gets destroyed, I only lose a little bit of the reinforcement gauge, and not half of it. Plus, these suits are remarkably resilient. They really are. Wow, I'm just taking a beating in the face. <laughs> and that Rickdom just, boom, dead. Now, I don't know if I ever explained it before, but to get the EX stage requires three different objectives or uh, requirements to be unlocked. Uh, requirement number one being that you need to make the rank of Captain. I'm already on my way to that. Uh, the Captain rank requires you to have a certain level of score before you hit the tenth level. Ah, Shar. One of my friend's favorite characters. And Lala, who I'll never get. Because her ship is in a constant state of motion. Sorry for mobile armor. Let me be specific and correct on this. Uh, requirement number two. Every so often, on the third, sixth, ninth, and tenth stages, an enemy mobile suit will appear. And whenever they, whenever they uh, sound off and speak, they mark themselves. You have to find that particular mobile suit and destroy it. In this case, the third stage, Char appeared, so I have to kill it. And then the tenth object, the third objective being that I cannot lose. I cannot be shot down and destroyed and forced to restart. If I do, it's over. There, I met the objective. I was the one that killed Char. You can't let your buddies kill Char, nor can you finish the stage without killing uh, the ace pilot. As for getting the score, that requires a little bit of forethought and work. The, uh, basically, to get captain is you have to get a certain score. You have to get a certain amount of score. So this means you've got to destroy more of the enemy mobile suits. Uh, you got to get a high dodge rate. You have to try and dodge as many shots as possible, be as accurate as possible, stuff like that. Uh, the Awakening Bonus. That is a big one that will definitely help, because there are three different Awakening types. I did cheat myself out of one particular score bonus I could have gotten, and that's time. I prefer to fight my battles with unlimited time. That way... You see, the max amount of time you can put in the game is uh, 210 seconds, which is three minutes. I'm sorry, three and a half minutes. I Mission misspoke. accomplished. Please return. I could have gotten a time bonus because the longer or the more time that's left on the clock, whenever you finish, the we bigger your time bonus is. And I cheated myself out of it by not selecting it. No, no, no. Stay up high. Anyways, the assault type or the um. Types. There are three different, um, uh, I don't know what I'm call them, support types, I suppose you can say, modes that can be activated. There's attack, defense, and then speed. In this case, I have chosen attack, which is the best one for racking up the score. When the gauge under my name there fills up, I can double tap L1 and activate it. When this does, my attack power doubles, and I don't get staggered by anything. What makes this useful is that I can activate it multiple times during combat. The more times it's activated and used, the bigger your bonus is. The Never Give Up one, which activates defense, is one I use most of the time for combat purposes, or not combat, for surviving combat, because what happens is, is when the gauge fills, if your mobile suit takes a critical hit that's supposed to destroy it, instead of dying, you'll simply have one limb blow off, or an arm or a head and then uh, you'll receive about a third of your health and be allowed to keep fighting. 
Also, your defense goes up. The reason it's bad is that it only works when the gauge is full, and any mobile suit that activates it on your ally team, uh, on your team, is the one that takes the effect. So if your ally ends up taking that critical hit and dying, or takes that critical hit, they're the ones that get the effect. You get nothing until the gauge completely empties out. Good job. Come on back. Also, if your mobile suit is destroyed while the effect is in place and the gauge is still full when you respawn, the effect the does not carry over. It just stops. Destroy the enemy mobile suit. So yeah, plus you cannot activate it manually. You have to wait for it to be activated. And then finally, the speed one is okay. When it's activated, you uh, basically have double speed. You move really, really fast, and it lasts twice as long. It also takes twice as long to fill up, and because it lasts so long, you can't use it as often. You can't use it as often. Lower bonus. Now, uh, you're probably wondering, who is this Caldon person? Uh, that is the name of a character I used to use in uh, chat room RPG long, 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 long ago. So it's just a name I decided to use. It's no different than Alexander Frost or any of the other characters I ever made up. Am I going to explain his story? Nah. It's not really important. Silly stories of a young man. Oh dear. That's, that's no good. PS2 is not capable of uh, rendering too many mobile suits at once. In fact, 5 is about as good as it gets. And once you get past 5, oh man, the slowdown. Oh, another thing I should have mentioned, with uh, each of these awakening modes that you can activate and use, attacking enemies and damaging them and destroying them actually refills the gauge a little bit. So you can actually prolong how long the gauge is uh, active, as long as you keep hitting. Of course, in order to keep it going for a really long time, you need to basically be unloading. Like, the only weapon that fires fast enough to make any kind of difference is the Ground Combat Gundam's Chest Vulcan, and the only way to get it to fire at that particular level required would be for you to use Please the crouch option with the big 120mm anti-armor rifle it carries, the artillery piece. To use that, you have to press and hold circle to actually lock onto a new target, and you'll crouch down. As long as you're holding that button, you'll stay in that crouched position. When you're in that mode, you can press the uh, sub-fire button, and instead of firing a quick, you know, burst of fire from the chest drill, can instead you just unload the entire clip. Ah, the uh, dude in the Ashimar, Shirako, there he is. He's my target this time, and I just lost my shield. But I do, okay, that's not... Why did I say the Ashimar? Because I mistook his voice for some odd reason, and plus... The Ashimar and VO are, at a distance, kind of a yellowish orangish color, which are similar. I know, there's going to be someone out there who says, VO is not orange, it's not yellow, it's gold. Whatever. Oh, did you activate what I thought you did? No, he didn't. He didn't. No, he did. His defense is super buff. So, I can still kill him. He's in critical state. He's in a critical state, so I can still kill him. It just isn't easy to do. Good job. Come on back. Only lost an arm. Don't need it. Ah, already a commander. Or a lieutenant commander. Two more stars. If you get three stars, you're a captain. And I'm only on the seventh mission, so I'm doing all right. Keep the enemy away from allied mobile suits. Mmm, I have that. I'm actually very much into the uh, Gundam action figure model kit. I love those things. Saw them in Walmart about 10 years ago, I'd say, something like that. Just started buying as many as I could. I mean, of course, granted, they were, um, you know, some of them were high-grade kits. But then there was a level of kit that's actually below that. Like, there's, like, skill level 1, 2, 3, and 4. But once you get up to, like, skill level 4, then it goes up into high grade, I think. Or something like that. The point is, though, I, I bought so many of the low grade kits. And, uh, I bought a few high grade kits, and the low grade kits are gone. Completely destroyed from use. Because they were, I used them more as toys than anything else. They're, they're gone. 
But uh, I do have a lot of high grade. I have a few high grades still around, and I just bought, or not so much bought, but got a master grade kit of the Gundam Mark II AU colors, which is the standard white and red and blue and all that good stuff. I actually got that for Christmas and got it put together not too long ago, and I have it standing on my desk right now. And I gotta say, Master Grade is a step below Perfect Grade, and Perfect Grade is as good as it gets. This thing is amazing. I love it. Oh, ouch. And uh, if I can, when I go to the convention next week, I'm gonna see if I can't get my hands on a Nemo. I have, I am such a big fan of Universal Century mobile suits. Good job. Come on back. Ironically, not so much the very first mobile suits. Like from the original Gundam series, the gyms, the GMs from that series, not too big on those. Don't like the way they're they're shaped. I don't like the shape of their head or their feet. Gym 2s, which came later, those I'll tolerate. They're not bad. <laughs> Now let me see. What is one suit I really like? A Gym Sniper 2 Custom. Preferably a white window custom. It's a special suit. Those I love. They just look amazing. Uh, Gym Sniper 2 Customs are not to be confused with a Gym Sniper 2. A Gym Sniper 2 uh, is not to, A Gym Sniper 2 Custom is not to be confused with a Gym Sniper. A gym sniper is just a ground combat gym that's been modified to fire a beam rifle, a very powerful long-range beam rifle. What is an Adzam doing here, of all places? That just makes no sense. Ah, see right there, that's exactly what I was talking about. That's one of those instances where your teammate activates the never give up ability when you're in critical condition and you need it more. And I ended up getting killed by the Ashamar. I think there's five mobile suits. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe it was it can only render five mobile suits at a time. I don't know. Frickin' DOMS! Now here's what I don't understand. In some instances, DOMS DOMS all use those big giant heat rods. They don't use beam sabers, they use basically metal poles that are superheated and melt through armor like butter. In some instances they're shown as having red weapons sort of like the way my theme saber is yellowish red like that. That's what um, Zaku's use. They use heat axes which have an edge that's like that. Like those things have giant poles. Sometimes they're shown as glowing yellowish red, but in this instance, it's blue. Someone explain that to me. Someone also explain how a captain is somehow a higher rank than a commander. A commander seems like it should be higher, but hey, whatever. This is another mission. Let me turn up the brightness again. This is another instance in which I have to face an ace pilot. And it's no small feat this time either. I seem to be doing alright. I don't like the Gaza Seas. I just find them incredibly annoying in this game for some reason. They're not even like real mobiles, they're just these little transforming things. And that's you. There's Puru 2 in a Psycho Gundam Mark II. <sighs> nope, not me. That was my ally who took the hit. And all I have now is what? <laughs> a beam rifle against. The Psycho Gundam Mark II in Fortress Mode. When it's in Fortress Mode, it has an eye beam, an eye field. So my beam rifle is basically useless. Plus, it just activated speed, so that makes it even harder to hit anyway. And I don't know why the tape is doing that. Nope, nope, that, that's okay. What I don't understand is if I was trying to go for score, why did I keep switching over to never give up? Attack would have been far superior. Perhaps this was one of those instances where I wasn't going to score, but it just sort of ended up like that. It just, you know, I got lucky, and... Yeah, I think that's probably what it was, is I just got lucky. I just thought about halfway through, I'm pretty close, so I'm gonna go for it. 
Oh, and it activated speed again! How lovely to me. And yet somehow I managed to pull it off. Yeah, I guess you could call this a Let's Talk video. Ha ha ha! I'm funny! And with 15 points left... Mission accomplished. I think I just used my headphones. Nice. No, I did shoot her. With Mission a gun. Please return. And wait for it. Bam! Captain. Looking good. I have to say, that was probably one of my favorite kills. I mean, it was just sheer luck that that solar panel was there. It was actually farther back, but still, when it exploded, it looked like that's what happened. Like, it just slammed into the panel and blew up. Oh, no, nope. brightness back up. Now, I have to admit, when I play this game, gravity le levels on the ground are nice. Levels in space are my least favorite. I should say levels with water, because I don't get in into, into deep water. But gra levels like this, low gravity levels, oh, I do so good in these levels. I love low gravity levels. It was actually the EX stage that I unlock in this particular videotape that uh, made me really, really love low gravity. And that's exactly why I don't like Gaga Caesar. You seem to have the ability to just kind of hop out of the way of your attack. Like, oh, I'm sorry, were you trying to hit me? <laughs> Lol. Oh, oh, oh. Oh! oh. Did you not like me knocking your head off? I'll finish them off by my own hand. What's with the Arabian theme? We're in space. Hello. Oh. Oh, look. Well, it's, it's Haman? What's Haman doing here? I could have sworn that was Razami or something. Or maybe... I'm not sure who I thought it was. But hey, whatever. It's just me and Haman. There's no one else here. Well, except for the other enemy mobile suit, which I think is going to pop in very soon. Odd. Why don't that... Why isn't there an allied mobile suit with me? Just, no, 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 there he is on radar. He was just following my commands and backing me up at distance. Oh, shit. I bet she's got never give up. Yeah, she slid along the ground and shot me as I got up. Yes, if the enemy has low, seems to take damage very easily and uh, doesn't... Uh, and doesn't activate any sort of awakening within the first, say, 15 seconds of being in battle, chances are their awakening mode is never give up. The enemy usually prefers to use the attack one, but sometimes they'll use the speed one, too. Speed is probably the most annoying, especially if you're facing Hom Robbies in open space. Oh my god. I hate fighting Hom Robbies in open space. And it's Puru 2 again. Hello, dear. Yeah, this time I just cheap out and go for the quick kill. Because the game constantly respawns weak enemies in case you don't want to fight the case pilot. Which is fine with me. Even though Gaza Seas are annoying as hell. Oh Jesus, we spawn too. Did that. Sure. Don't kill it, and then leave. Ah! Hate those little bastards. Little pink bastards. Get out here so I can beat on you. And I just lost an arm. I don't even know what it did to attack me. Oh, okay. For a moment, it looked like Puru 2 was going to attack me and ended up hitting that thing instead. I have actually had enemy units get the final kill before because of Friendly Fire. Mission accomplished. Please return. In fact, Friendly Fire helps me out a lot in, uh, in that EX mission that's coming up. Attack the enemy inside the colony laser. Destroy the enemy mobile suits. Yeah. It's just me this time. No allies. Just me. And it looks like those they're, they're holding hands. It really does. Maybe it's just me. Okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We need to get back down to the bottom of the screen this time. There you go. 
Back down, I say. Alright, now we're good. Now we're cooking with gas. I'm going to turn the brightness down just a bit because while it is slightly dark, we are in the colony laser. Now, I don't know why, but when I fought these two, I mean, look how much damage you did. For some reason, these two Hyzaks gave me so much fucking trouble. Like, they're Hyzaks. They're improved Zakus. They're not that hard. And yet, somehow, they managed to kill me not once. Yeah, once. But I think they also managed to take my arm, too. Wait for it. Look at, look at that damage. Look at it. And there goes my arm. Didn't need that. And then I raped it. I don't know why I switched to backup. I guess I did it out of habit. I didn't even realize that I was the only one there. Oh, I bet you thought that was funny. Come here. Alright. Already lost a life. I'm down an arm. It can't be that hard. Oh, well, it's Hamon. Okay, I can handle Hamon. Well, it, Lala. Oh, okay, and the Psycho Gundam Mark II. And I'm dead. Wait, Kuru 2? Lala? Oh, Jeebus. I'm facing three female new types. All of them in mobile suits that use funnel weapons. I am fucked. Yeah. That was fun. Knock me around some more. I love it. You cannot be fancy in this mode. Not at all. You can still do it. Nope. Oh, Jesus. I mean, they're just beating the hell out of me here. You can't be fancy. All you can do is move and shoot. Move and shoot. I mean, I ducked out just to hope that maybe I could avoid getting hit for a moment. Oh, look, they activated attack mode. By luck, I managed to kill Kuru. And then this happens. I think it was pure luck, but it almost looked like it was timed. Two funnel shots bounced off satellites that were fired by Lala, and I took the hits, and just as I landed, a shot fired by Haman hit me just as I landed, had no opportunity to dodge it. But did you really think I was going to give up after that? Hell to the no! Of course I was going to go back, it's an EX mission. I get a chance to go back and do it again, and do it right. And oh, I did. Okay, I was wrong. This is going to be half hour. <laughs> Alright, look, lines. Get down. I don't need your help. And so I'm off here. I'm facing to, uh, to the Hyzax. It's okay. I can take it. You know, no problem. Let's get the Hyzax. Alright. Shouldn't be nothing I'm not used to right now. See? I'm already owning them. The only bad thing about this particular shot is that it doesn't go long range. You'll fire a shot and then it'll spread like shotgun, so it's kind of good. Oh, that... Oh, Jesus! Yo, oh, fuck! Reload quickly! Quickly, son! See, that's the bad thing about the Mark II Gundam is while it can reload every weapon, it can reload the Hyper... the Hyper Bazooka and the Beam Rifle very, very quickly. The problem being that once it loses its arm in combat, you, um... Use the ability to reload, period. And I just wasted a shot, because I'm smart. So now I have an unarmed Zaku, or Zaku, uh, Mark II Gundam. <laughs> Ouch. I don't even know who shot me. Okay, got my arm back. That's good. <laughs> Look like she just pushed me. No, you cannot have that spot. And you see, the really stupid thing about this battle is most of the time I concentrate on the Psycho Gundam because I see it as a bigger threat, which clearly is not the case. Reload you know, quickly. Oops, too late. Now you've only got one shot. 
And then I switch over to Jesus. That's not supposed to be there. So I switch back over to Beam Saber and say, fuck it, I'm just gonna go for it. While I'm getting raped by lasers everywhere, my god. Things are looking bad for me. Things are looking real bad. But then... A stroke of luck. Shot net for Haman. Killed Peru. Because those three have been firing shots willy-nilly and hurting each other. And some of my shots have been damaging Peru too as well. Hell no, it's not getting too dangerous. I got this. Oh, shit. Success. Then a sheer broke, a sheer stroke of genius. By luck, I leapt forward to fire a shot, and Haman job, just combat. leapt right into it just at the same time. We both leapt towards each other, and I fired. I didn't even realize how awesome I had done until the last fucking second. I was just like, yeah! And that's my favorite EX stage. I have not actually gotten back to it in a very long time, but I love it because I love that song. It's just so happy. Yeah. Mmm! Feels good! Well, folks, this has been a fun video, and I have enjoyed myself thoroughly. And I will see you again next Monday with Metal Slug 6!